Hey everyone, today I want to show you the very basics on how to make levels with the uh, Cry Engine. Now, I fin finally got the uh, Crisis 2 game, but unfortunately the uh, Cry Engine 3 is not available yet. I believe Crytek said the uh, Cry Engine 3 will be available to make levels for Crisis 2 in August. I believe it was August 11th, they said. But until then, I thought I would make uh, a video, uh, a couple of video tutorials for people who want to just start out making levels and start learning on how to make levels with the Cry Engine. So today, uh, I'll be showing you with the Cry Engine too how easy and simple it is to make a level. Now, let me just say before I start that building uh, levels with uh, an engine is uh, very CPU intensive. So for all of those who have a single core processor, I wouldn't even try to attempt this because it's going to take way too long to uh, render and generate terrain and all that. So I suggest everyone try to do this, have at least a quad core processor and your uh, ability to make uh, levels and generate terrain and make maps will be much, much easier on you. So with that said, let's get right into it, guys. And uh, this is the basics of the basics. And as I learn, I will uh, bring out another tutorial to you guys. Uh, this first tutorial is just the very beginning on how to make an island out of nothing. To start off with a blank slate, so to speak. So here you go, guys. This is tutorial one. Starting from the beginning with the Cry Engine 2. Sandbox 2. Okay, everyone, uh, today I'll be talking about the uh, Cry Engine 2 and how exactly you can actually make your own uh, map. Now, uh, to start off with, you uh, will be presented with a, a screen that looks a lot like this. Now, as you can see, it's totally blank with a lot of buttons. You have buttons on top, you got buttons over here you got buttons everywhere and at first it looks very very confusing and very uh, complicated but if you just follow the directions that I'm about to tell you you'll be making your own maps in no time now the first thing you want to do is uh, click on file click on new and name the level so let's name it uh, I don't know uh, Sam's Paradise Island click OK and as you can see nothing has changed it's still a black area and that's because uh, we only named the level we haven't even changed the uh, we haven't even created an island yet so what you want to do here is click on terrain click on the edit terrain and now what you'll see is this with a whole bunch of buttons on top. Now here you have a uh, brushes, a few brushes you have to play with. You got uh, small brushes, medium brushes, large brushes, and normal brush. And for anyone who has done photo editing knows what a brush is. Now uh, if you want to do it manually you can click on the brush and just left click on the mouse like you would do in any photo editing area. And uh, the harder you push the brush the more longer you keep your finger down uh, the whiter it'll get if you click it and keep clicking on that same area. Now white represents height. So the whiter something is, the higher something is. The blacker something is, the lower something is. Okay, something to, very important in the photo editing, in the editing tool. So if you want to go with something like that, that's fine. Of course you can also have the editor uh, do it for you by clicking on the uh, generate terrain button. If you click on generate terrain and click OK, you'll be get something like that. Like its own its own thing. But for now, what we're doing is just making a very small area. We're gonna make a small little area such as that. We'll leave that area over here. And uh, we'll be working with that mostly. 
that little area, that black area there. Now what we want to do is click on smooth, smooth uh, button near the mountain icon, and what that does is pretty much smooths out the uh, smooths out the mountains, and it gives us a, a nice area to work with, such as a beach area. Now what we want to do is click OK, click the OK button down here. And now, if you look, now we have something. We have a white area that has absolutely no textures, but we can move into that area by clicking the WASD keys. Okay. Now you're probably saying, Sam, this doesn't look very good at all. This doesn't look anything like the game. Well, that's because we haven't generated a surface texture yet. We haven't even told the editor what texture we want on this thing. So now what we want to do is we want to go to terrain, click on texture, and if we go up here you'll see what I'm talking about. Go to terrain, click on texture, and click on default. And you'll see over here it shows a grassy type for the default. Click OK down here. Click OK. And you'll see, again, nothing has changed. So you're probably saying to yourself, Sam, what do I have to do to create a texture? Well, you have to remember, we didn't tell it to generate the texture yet. All we told it is what texture we want. So now what we want to do is we want to tell it to generate the texture we just told it we want. So click OK. Click the File button again, and click Generate Surface Texture. And then you'll be uh, presented with another window that uh, shows the dimensions for you. It shows 4096 by 4096. If you have a high CPU, I suggest you click on the high quality area, and then click OK. Now if you look down here, you'll see a uh, progress bar that uh, it's generating the texture. It's in the middle of generating the texture. When it's done generating the texture, you will see it appear in the box. And now we have an actual texture on our island here. Now although this doesn't look very exciting, this was only part one of the tutorial. Part two, I'll show you how to uh, paint on this terrain. See if you get really close in. How to uh, move around on this terrain. And how to add grass and trees. And a whole bunch of other uh, items. Such as rocks and boats. And uh, make this area look a little bit more livable than it does right now. Thank you for watching.